Hello people, I am Jabby Kawe, joined by Natasha Martinez, and we're gonna be looking at types of people at the movies, people in cinemas from Jordan Indian. Oh my gosh. Now, I already have a notion in my mind <laughs> about how this is gonna go. You do as well. <laughs> I'm but excited. every time I do that, Jordan Indian catches me off guard. They're like, hey, one-two punch, and it's actually this joke over here. I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna try to like throw out my predisposition about what, this, what these right, jokes are gonna throwing be. Throwing it out. Yeah, let's go with it. So obvious. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like this one. Well, it's like a Seinfeld episode. <laughs> That's not. This guy. It's like, it's like watching movie. The mic's not yeah. connected. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yes, sir. Hello, Nathan. Where are the reports, man? Uh, so we are at the meeting right now. We're taking a look at the slides as we speak. Uh, switch to the next slide, please. Hey, man, don't like this incompetence at all. I asked you for the report yesterday. Sir, so, uh, we'll have the reports to you by tomorrow morning latest, sir. See, I would have been there in that meeting with you if it wasn't for this family emergency. I totally understand, sir. I'll have the reports to oh you. Oh my god, I knew it! <laughs> Still expect those reports by evening. <laughs> <laughs> that music was from an actual Indian movie. I swear to you, the director just went all out on sound design. You know he uses silence to like, you know, mess with the audience and stuff. That's why it's called a quiet place. Shh, stop. Oh god. Oh god. I... <laughs> and they sit right next to you! That's the worst! They sit right, it's like I go out of my way to find the spot. Like, get away! Oh, I love this, it's like a fake baby. Too. Oh my god, I would be so mad. <laughs> Go to sleep, my darling. Why is she in English? That's why she's crying. Follow me. Ah, 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 Okay. One more. <laughs> watch that. It's amazing. I mean, if you watch Die Hard One, it's unbelievable. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? How's it going? Good, man. Have you watched this movie before? No, but I hear it's really good. Dude, it's crazy. You'll never believe that Bruce Willis is a ghost in the end. <laughs> I hate spoilers! It's okay, I feel your pain. <laughs> Just so Aww. brazen with it. Just puts the it puts it out there like nothing. Like walking and laughing. But then that's two and three. <laughs> Why do people do that? Two months I've been trying sincerely. One chance you give me, please, God, one chance, okay? Aww. Actually, my daughter's a little. Oh. <laughs> 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 I 
There's a whole dialogue we can have about that alone. I know, I know. We can talk for like 30 minutes. Hello. Ah, mom. Ah, my picture me you. Kala ire. Amara kala. Oh, worst. Ya, ekdam mast. Ah, tum bhi aana chahiye tha. Intermission mein main ek plate wheel ko kaane wale hu. Ha. Aur black and black mein ekdam black panther ki tarah hai. Can you please be quiet when I watch movie? He's got a lot of good characters in Yeah, he does. He's so good. I got two friends that almost got into fist fights over something like this. Yeah. Do you notice how his shirt is behind all the way down? Spoiling his dark clothes, much different, different types. That's my first date outfit. Seven percent off. Have that. They're all into the teal. Cutting his beard. See, I told you if we took Madiwala signal, we would have come early. Six o'clock Aarti will do. Morning idli, you can't make six o'clock Aarti. You want to do? Oh, I can't make idli. Yeah. Share it. 
<laughs> See, this is what I mean, where they take the joke in a weird direction, you're not expecting it. Like what? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, this is a dragon. Uh, the dragon ball. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, But yeah, like the, the the arm thing is the worst because like feeders don't build in two armrests. Yeah. Unless you're going to like a premium one. I'm like, can we just like share? Like, yeah, I'll like take the, the front, elbow, you take the elbow. Back. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's like the same thing on a plane. Yes. You know? Or just, yeah, just chill, people. Like, yeah. we don't get to like freaking elbow wrestle. But I find big guys like that are usually cool. They're usually nice. They're not like trying to hog up all the space because yeah, they already yeah, yeah. feel like they're taking they're, up a lot of yeah. space. This was so funny. Yeah. Except Wait, are they doing bloopers or? They're gonna do bloopers right okay. after this. Oh, they're talking about like their the ad, um, what do you call it? Their sponsor for the video. Oh. So, here we go. So funny. Download the app and subscribe, because we're gonna hit two million soon. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> black and black play on my lap. Or black and black play. He's messing up his line. Hello? Or black and black play. <clears throat> or black and black. <laughs> Action. Or black and black. Or black and black. Why is it such a black part? and black man? <laughs> She's lost. She's lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm dying. No, first time, but here's really good though. Dude, it's crazy. You'll never guess that. <laughs> it's not even in camera. <laughs> this Groot is like Tulsi plant or what? It's not a Tulsi plant, it's a tree. Thank you. Like, like, do it. Like, my son. I've ever seen one of their videos. That was great. Seeing the outtakes always reminds me how much they grade these videos. I think they shoot on the red or something because like they... they yeah, I mean that's such a huge difference. The guy recording something at the theater, I have not, I have not personally I've experienced that. I've never experienced that. Yeah, but I'm, I'm sure many of you guys have seen that. Yeah. I suddenly have a craving for a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I don't know why that happened. Oh, it, I want popcorn now. I'm big on the movie popcorn. The family planners, that's the worst. I wish I could just bring baseballs with me to the theater and start, you, you know. don't have your children here. Yeah, exactly. Like, it's a horror movie or whatever. It's yeah. it's a rated R film that's got lots of explosions. Like, what are you thinking? Yeah. What, what are you, what's going through your head yeah. that makes you think that's okay? I didn't make you have the kid. You decided to have the kid. So, so don't. So why do we have yeah. to suffer? <laughs> yeah, exactly. After paying money. Don't impose your ex your your mistakes on me. <laughs> that's... You chose to have the crying, shrieking baby. Yes, exactly. Like Yeah, you... no, that's the worst. And I always find that it does happen at like really late showings where it's maybe, yeah, an R-rated film. Yes. And you're just like, why would you do that anyway? A quiet place. Like of all movies. Well, right? yeah, that was funny. Yeah. It's like, why would you do it? To, like you a need quiet to be place? quiet and it's just like little babies like Rah. I was watching a film. And it was an Indian film, actually. I forget which one it was. It might have been about Sachin uh, Tendulkar, but this kid was just running around. I'm like, I'm, no. I cannot, like, 
focus as easily on the movie when you've got your kid running pa past my legs every two seconds. No. And I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Does anyone say anything? That's showing no one did. No one said anything. But sometimes... Because I don't think I've ever had anyone say something when that's happened. Sometimes I feel for... Well, I feel for the parents if they're on, like, an airplane. Right? Because, I mean, most of the times, it's like, okay, sometimes you got to travel with your kid. But maybe I don't feel for them in movie theaters. It's like, you have a choice. I mean, I know it's like, you have your kid, you want to go out, live your life. But just find the right time and place. There was only one time I said something, uh, well, I've said something at the theater before. I'm like, can you, I put on my Batman voice, <laughs> if they're in front of me, I go, can you please turn that off? When it's in your ear like that. You're like, whoa. It's almost like they drop their phone because they get, they're so thrown by my voice. <laughs> That's the one time I'm, I take pride in my voice because I know it freaks people out. They think I'm like seven feet tall or yeah. something. They don't know what I'm capable of. So they're just scared. Yeah, they're just scared. And please don't hurt me. Yeah, but like I will straight up walk up to someone if their phone is like bright or something. I'm like, can you please? That's that's just. And I, if I'm with someone, I try to get the other person next to me to say something because I come off way more mean. If I have to come up to you and say something, I've got my resting bitch face on ten, <laughs> right? And my voice is angry and I'm aggressive. Let me see the resting bitch face. <laughs> it's just that's just my natural. However you met me, that's how my face looked. Oh. But it was worse. Okay. So, or maybe I smiled when I first met you. I don't know. So there's that. But like I remember, I was watching uh, the first episode of Game of Thrones. This is not a movie theater, but it was still a thing where it's like. Because you were asking, does anyone say anything? And I'm like, I think people want to, but they just don't know that they should. That's why I'm introducing this example. I was watching Game of Thrones with Achara and her uh, and um, mutual friends. It was my friend and her and her boyfriend, and it's a bunch of people. And the audio was like quiet, right? Yeah. And it's Game of Thrones, and you you want to feel like the volume of it. Oh, totally. Right? You don't want to miss anything either. And no one's saying anything. I was thinking if I was just watching this at home, I would have my 7.1 sound system with the bass cranked. And it was, this wouldn't be an issue, but I wanted to watch it in this community. With commu people. With people, you yeah, know. Yeah, share the experience. And and so, at some point, someone had to take a pee break. And I turned to my friend's boyfriend, I go, could you, like, turn the volume up? Because I can't hear what they're saying. And then everyone was like, oh, yeah, 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 like, that'd be uh, so good. Oh, yeah. And, and so everyone wanted to say something, but they just didn't. And so I feel like next time, you should just say something. If you do it, other people will chime in, and they'll help you out. It's true. You never want to be that person that just goes, because more than often it does come off rude. But at the same time, everyone's thinking it, and it's just better for everybody. Okay, so the spoiler thing, we'll just skip past that. And just don't spoil don't the movie spoil for people. Don't spoil things. Um, it's not nice. The back this. seat. The backseat thing. Okay. Here's my thing, if you're a girl watching this, just know if you're hanging out with a dude, even if you see him as a friend, there's a possibility he doesn't see you as a friend. And be aware if there's movement that might appear to be other kinds of movement. That's all. Yeah, you know? also, don't put your hand within reach. Like, don't put it on the armrest. Don't even put a single hand on your thigh if you don't want to get it grabbed. If you don't want your hand held, yeah. you are like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get a sling. You literally just have to be like body language. Yeah. Because if not, it's just, it's open territory. Like it's yeah. happened so many times to me before, but I was just laughing because my, this. well, my first boyfriend ever literally asked permission. We were in the movie theater and we weren't even that young. Like my first boyfriend had, I think I was like 18. Like I had just started college. Like mm -hmm. again, all girls high school. So he was like, can I put my arm around you? And it was very much like a moment of mm -hmm. like, okay, this is happening, but then like most people don't, mm -hmm. you know? I don't know, it's just like, it's so funny to me, like this like movie theater, like date, like will they, won't they, are we gonna make out in the back, are we gonna hold hands, are we leaning, like yeah. what's happening? It just is so funny and like precious, because I feel like when you get older, like that doesn't really happen anymore. Uh, th th this still happens to me a little bit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it just depends on the circumstance. Like I've had all ranges of experiences. It depends how drunk I am. But <laughs> The movie theater experience has still happened. It, ha it has happened to me. It happened to me like a couple years ago. So I was, you know, with someone who I was interested in, but I didn't know if she was interested in me. Turned out she was like a born again Christian. So that like shifted things in a weird direction. I was sitting next to her and I was like, I don't know if I should. I'm just not gonna. And it turns out she just wanted to be friends anyway. So it was a smart okay. move. But my very first date with a girl at a movie was like that, where I'm like, I'm sitting next to her and I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to hold her hand. Like, and it's like heart, that's all you're thinking about. Yeah, my, too? my heart is pounding out of my Aww. chest like boom, 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 boom. like I don't know what I should do the funniest thing is I, I, I it was something you'd never do unless you want to be super adventurous I asked her if she wanted to theater hop <laughs> which, oh, okay. which we, which we did okay and that's fun at the end of the movie something happened where like she felt my hand by accident 
and she goes like this. She goes, this hand, she goes, okay. oh my God, your hands are so warm. <laughs> and she was like holding it. I'm like, this whole time I could have been holding her hand. <laughs> Cause her hand, She's like, please hold my hand. Yeah, yeah. That was her move. I like, kind of like that move. I don't know if it was a part. move. See, I don't know what See, is a I move think it for was women. A move. It's so confusing. Well, because so, we're just as confused too, sometimes. That's why you just gotta put it out there. I'm like, I want to hold your hand. Is that okay? No, okay. <laughs> no. All right. <laughs> yeah. Like you say no before they can say anything, and you just look the other way, and they'll be like, No, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm all for. Well body language, right? If the girl's like all the way over here, do mm -hmm. not just go for it. But if you kind of feel her like sending those vibes, having that hand out, like yeah. just go for it. Yeah, it's good. Maybe you'll change her mind. Maybe she'll be like, oh, okay. He's taking a leap of faith. I like this confidence. It's so confusing. Like I was on a third date with a girl before I kissed her and she's like, I'm really glad you kissed me because I started to wonder if you were into me at all. I was yeah. like, I take things slow. What's the problem? Like, <laughs> no, that's nice. Yeah, but uh, yeah. yeah, sometimes we just want mm -mm. Just a little oomph. Just take, just have be confident. Okay, the guy <laughs> making noise at the theater, yeah, talking funny. real loud. Like we talked about that. Man, if you're at the movies, just be aware. Well, I don't know. I guess it's a kind of intertwined. Again, talking about Midsummer because I think that's the last. Is that? No, 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 I saw yesterday. That was the last movie I saw. But I saw Midsummer a few weeks ago. Usually, like, I go to the Arclight in Hollywood, right? Mm -hmm. It's like nice spacious seats. It's like all fancy. But I was in New York and I just went to some regular, like, AMC, which is fine, but it was an older movie theater. Mm -hmm. So the seats were super close together. The movie, I mean, again, like, if you haven't seen it, I'm not giving anything away, but there was just a group of people behind me that just seemed like those pretentious, like, movie theater goers that, that they know everything, all of the choices. They they already know what's happening. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. And he was just laughing like right in my ear the whole time. And at that point, I didn't even know if I was supposed to laugh or if it was like more serious. So it just confused me. And I just left that experience just like, this is why people don't like to go to the movies anymore. Yeah. Because it was so annoying. Yeah, I know. I will get up and move my seat. If, if I'm sitting in front of someone who's like, they're usually fat. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't, I didn't look behind me to see. I think he was a little hairy. He was yeah. definitely like an internet leg bro. Yeah, exactly, an internet <laughs> bro. They're usually like this fat, dumpy guy who doesn't shower like but once a week. And he's just like just disheveled and he knows everything about cinema because yeah. he just watches movies yeah. all day long and never goes outside. It's like, dude, like just chill out. Not everyone is interested in your loud, Freaking opinion. Yeah, it was like his commentary, like he didn't even need to use words. It was just his reactions the whole time. I was just like, can you just not, please? Yeah. Use Anyways. Your, use your inside laugh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> be, be kind. Uh, <laughs> so I was at a, a screening not too long ago. For those of you who are watch all my videos, uh, it's where I met the twins, the Indian twins. There's this lady sitting next to me and the movie's about to start, and she's like from Sweden, sweet old lady. There's this announcer talking about the film. She's like going off her notes, talking mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. and this, and she goes, this woman is terrible. She's terrible. Like, right she, in front of her? Well, or, we're or removed, far. but okay, she's saying it to me in my ear. Okay, okay. But I'm like, okay, okay, cool, yeah. She's like, this is the problem with American schools. Like, they don't teach kids anything here. <laughs> And I'm like, all right. And then the movie starts. And I'm like, I'm going into the movie annoyed that this woman is criticizing American schools. I might have mentioned this already. But then what happens is as the movie's going along, she starts saying random things to me oh, about no, her, I hate her, that. her experiences in England because the movie's based in England. I'm like, I don't care that much. Oh, I, no. I really it's just like a stranger just, that just won't stop talking to yeah, you and I don't during know how to, a movie. Yeah. That's and, annoying. And I don't know how to be like, could you shut the fuck up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, I, can you, know, you not? Yeah. <laughs> Could you just like? <laughs> I think I would just stop. Did we? Did you keep responding to her? I just went. Mm -hmm. I just went like that. Because I think I would just be like, and just stop responding. But then I would feel so uncomfortable for the rest of the movie because I don't like to be like outwardly rude to people. Right. That would completely ruin my experience. Old people need people to talk to. Is, the, is what I've learned. Yeah. So that happens. Call your yeah. grandparents. Yeah. I was at the gym at four thirty in the morning, and this old guy wouldn't leave me alone. I'm like. I have my headphones in. Oh yeah, I hate that. Stop talking. I'm well, doing my pull-ups. That's the worst when it's like a guy like trying to hit on you at the gym and you're just like, I'm literally running. Like I'm yeah. going like, you know, seven at speed seven. Yeah. I'm not trying to have a conversation with you right now. Like. Please. Yeah, I don't do that ever. Yeah, that's a that's another pro tip, guys. Yeah, exactly. Do it's like once I see a girl hit the treadmill or the stairmaster, I'm like, it's a wrap. I'm, yeah. I might as well just leave. Yeah. <laughs> 
Just also, don't. just hitting on someone at the gym is just like, I feel like it's already a, awkward. It is awkward. It's very hard to pull off. I've done it a few times. I guess my success ratio or success rate is 50%. So. Okay. That's 50 50. I guess. But I haven't done it that much. I've, done, I've hit on a girl like six times at the gym. And it's hard. It's really <laughs> awkward. But, um, but anyway. But you made it through. Yeah. So, so the, with, the, with the French lady, it's just like, I didn't. She wasn't French, she was Swedish. I just didn't know what to do, because I'm like, I don't want to be rude to her. I just want to enjoy the movie. So how do you, what do you do, you know? I don't know. There's nothing you can, you're just trapped. You really are just <laughs> trapped, because I feel like, like I said, even if you just started ignoring her, you'd probably be like, fuck, like, I just feel so awkward now. Right, just get up and leave. Just the movie's just, over. It's done. Yeah, don't come back. You lost out on your, yeah. however many dollars it costs. But the armrest thing. That was funny. That's the last thing here, and it's like, just share. Sharing is caring, you know? Sharing is caring. Um, you guys, this was fun. <laughs> yeah, as you, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. <laughs> Sometimes I, I find that there's like a silent game where this guy is sitting down, he's using both elbow rests, and he has to go to the bathroom, and as soon as he gets up, I, You're <laughs> I like, take it's it. Mine. And then he comes back, he's like, fuck. And it's like this, you can't say anything. He's like, alright, he's got it. And the moment I shift, he takes it like, damn it! <laughs> I got comfortable! <laughs> Never get comfortable! Yeah, exactly. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you, Jordanian, for allowing us to react to this. Check out Natasha on the social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Natasha Martinez. Peace out.